unites everybody. Hip hop brings everybody together. Isn't that beautiful? What actually came to me first was Muhammad, and I would just be spitting for hours, and hours, and ciphers. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it's the love in me just grew. Like hip hop is developing different categories. Like when you have jazz, you have new wave, you have your bebop. Now hip hop, you may have your poppy, mainstream hip hop, underground hip hop. It's, it's growing. The new cats, man. The new cats is inspiring too. Or currency, for instance. What's cool about German hip hop is that there's a certain underground culture developing. Sammy Deluxe, check him out. He's cool. Sammy Deluxe. Good reps, real nice beats. He's been in the game forever. Sammy Deluxe. Oli Banyu. Cool Savage, real nice spitter. My opinion, London, bam. We don't show love to each other out here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like UK basketball. I don't watch it. I know you don't watch it. So as far as I'm concerned, people look at UK hip hop like, it's American and, and it's not real. Going around the world, it has enabled me to touch down in many communities and change what people think about hip hop music. I'm Yara Bravo, AKA Little Miss B. I'm an MC, poet, singer, Musician, a person who likes to express themselves. Where we came up and where we started getting into music, me and Pav was into drum and bass and jungle. And obviously, hip hop is the backbone of what we do, and the whole skills element and you know beats and rhymes. That's what it's about. Everybody was b boying, tagging. I was the same as a b girl. Like a time where almost every known artist in Norway was rapping in Norwegian. But of course, we have Dark Side of the Force, Paper Boys, Mad Contact, you know, really big. Take two, take two. I was getting up properly, hitting trains, hitting street, just bombing intensely. It's obligation for my life. I not uh, listen to rap, my brothers kick me, you know? If we're gonna translate further in music, especially living here in Europe, we need to make sure that our shows and our music is internationally interesting. The first hip hop song I remember is Slam by Onyx. You got people just be getting like 40 million views on YouTube, getting record deals. It's, it's more of, of how you market yourself and your social network. We never had that when we was coming up. It was Japan recently. Japan has got an amazing scene. They just got a love for music. Digging my French hip hop at the moment. I love the Palestinian scene for the raw. The purity of what it is, man. The language really suits hip hop. What I like about the Ghanaian scene is their flows. But I like the way they just, they bounce rhythms. Switzerland is definitely the best. It's a little country. They have so much love for real hip hop. Apart from like Berlin and Amsterdam, which are obvious key cities in Europe, Melbourne internationally has a strong scene. I can go to Brazil and I can say fala canoes, which, which means we stick together like glue. And I can also say it's bigger than hip hop.